Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Plezio Charge Megazord from Power Rangers Dino Charge, or Dino Supercharge. Um, this is the Zord that is piloted by the Purple Ranger, and uh, uh, comes with a few things, you, uh, you get the Zord itself and the Dino Charger, so uh, let's take a look at the box, then the Charger, and then the Zord. So here we have the box. Uh, we got Power Ranger Super Dino, Char Dino Supercharge that should be closed. Uh, the Plezio uh, the Zord in a cool little space background. Um, on this side it has what the Chargers can do. On this side it has the in-show suit. On the top it has the logo. Bottom is nothing but gibberish that nobody will care about reading. Back is of course everything you're going to do. Shove that back in there. Uh, so we'll take a look, quick look at the Dino Charger. Here we have the Plesio Charger. This is the translucent version. Uh, you did see me take a look at this back in the Ultra in the Ultra Dino Charge set or the Ultra Dino Charger set. You know the little QR code. If you want to scan it, go ahead. Little uh, decal right there. The pins. Of course, we can use this in the morpher. I just fixed up the paint on this thing, and boy, it actually does look imp Stop falling over. Boy, does it actually look more impressive now that I fixed up the paint. Uh, there are some spots I need to take care of later, but it actually looks pretty decent because I sometimes have to fix up the paint, and it's a bit of a pain, but. Uh, don't matter. Let's uh, do this. Make sure this is on. This was already loaded. And it got that wrong. There we go. And that's pretty much it for that. I had to shut it off so that nothing could start it up. Here we have the uh, the Plesiozord. I did paint this part black, but I didn't realize that this was supposed to be white all up top. So I do have to possibly get a white paint pen uh, when I'm done here. So. Uh, put that on my agenda. <laughs> so anyway, got out in black plastic and white plastic with purple paint. Uh, some green for the eyes, uh, black for the iris. And you also, on the back, you get this... It's not pale gold, it's actually a much standard gold, like on the... The, uh... Uh... Plezuo. Very nice. It has three wheels on the bottom. It does roll fairly well. Unfortunately, this has no lights and sounds due to the fact that this thing is pretty hollow on the inside. So, No lights and sounds or anything like that, unlike its Japanese counterpart. Another thing uh, that you can do is you can, of course, fold down the little wing flip or flipper bits for its battle mode. And... Uh, Unfortunately, nothing on top is painted. I will try to fix that later. Like, this this guy needs some of my expertise on customization. And, yeah, when you flip out the flippers too much, it kind of stalls the wheel. So you got to kind of get it at the right level so that it doesn't stall the wheels. Oh, well. I wish that these had wheels on them, too. But, oh, well. Now, you can insert the Dino Charger. And, uh... It does have a little gimmick, however, there is no clear window, so you can't see the charger inside, which sucks, so, um, this bit will flip up, and that's where the buttons used to be on Plezwo, and it'll give you two little cannon laser things, so, yeah, um, very nice, doesn't have any posability whatsoever, I do need to 
customize this quite a bit. So yeah, um, all left now to do is to transform it into the Ecclesio Charge Megazord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first I need to bump up the camera. So we take this guy and we're basically gonna completely disassemble him. Take this off, the tail, the black piece, this thing, that thing, these two things, and the head. Pull these up, down, separate, out and down. There's that. Get some little gunmetal gray paint for that, which I do like. Attach the feet to the bottom. No sounds, so uh, we don't have to worry about that, even though it would have been cool if these had sound effects. I mean, they're hollow enough. Yeah, I guess you could have added something. So put that on the back. Uh, take one of the, uh, take this arm, put it on the back. And the other one goes here, and what's gonna be his right arm, or yeah, his right arm will be the cannon portion, the head. Ah, there we go. And you can't see anything because he is way too tall. Surprisingly. <laughs> there we go. Then take the tail, push, put it on, flip up the little rocket thing. And here we have the Plesio Charge Megazord. Posability is as follows. You do get full 360 in and out movement. The legs have a lot of posability. They do ratchet and they do kick outward if I can get it to click in that. Yeah, it clicks in that position. Uh, and I can't get this to stabilize. Because of Zord Builder, these can come off. Uh, however, Unlike Plezwo, what I don't like is the head cannot rotate. The reason the head could rotate on Plezwo is because this was a rounded peg and not a square peg. So now that it's a square peg, it won't turn the head. So, unfortunately. You can mimic what he does in the show and do the galactic blast attack, but there is no sound effect. So, unfortunately, that's automatically pointless as demonstrated by my camera key constantly falling over I really need to honestly one of these days I need to figure out a way to stop this thing from constantly falling over every five seconds of my videos now it doesn't even want to balance ain't that great there now you can do some combinations uh, we're gonna take off this arm uh, now, unfortunately, you cannot store this on the back, at least not with this arm here. So what you have to do is stick them on the bottom ports right here. And if you want it symmetrical, you have to put both of them on if you're one of those people. We're going to take the Pachazord, and I kind of did the transformation for this wrong. Uh, how it's supposed to go is like this, do that. Like that that's how it's supposed to look like I get it because it does make the thing the line look straight but I really would have preferred it if they did it the way that it shows in the show and in the Japanese version because that kind of still looks funky well I guess that's close as we're gonna get to matching that and then you we're gonna take the charger and stick it in his mouth because I'm accurate there we have Plesio Charge Megazord Paco Formation, and nothing changes on the right arm. The right arm always stays uh, the Plesio head. So now he has the, you can stick any of the, uh, although you can stick any of these anywhere on the two ports. So yeah, you do get the little wrecking ball thing of doom and destruction. And of course, we can also combine him with Rexy over here. Uh, um, 
So yeah, we're gonna form another new combination, which I need to get another box for because this thing's just getting bigger and bigger. <sighs> okay, there we go. Alright, now that that's big enough. Hey, it looks like uh, in the show when like Rexy goes up to like, and hey, notice me, notice me, Tyler, <laughs> or Dago, whatever works for you. Anyway, take off this. Um, take off that. Uh, and this guy is old. Even in, in the American version, he's still a part, part, bleh, 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 parts former. My tongue stopped working. So yeah, just basically disassemble him. And uh, there we go. Take Rexy. Now, the Pachazord's already set up, but take Rexy and uh, kind of have him extend his legs like you would the Megazord, um, but don't turn the waist, and just he shed out his helmet. I had to fix this thing with super glue because, yeah, you can see it inside. Um, the connection that I'm going to show off later is really strong that you might end up doing this. I mean, you can't really tell from looking at it on the outside, but yeah. Now, unlike the uh, uh, Japanese formation, you leave the head down. So, yeah, I'm going to back that up so that I don't bump into anything. So, we take the rocket boosters, attach them to the bottom. So, now he has rocket-powered feet. Because that's a thing. Can I straighten this out? Yep, there we go. Take this black piece and stick it to the front to cover up the T-Rex arms. Even though it doesn't cover up as much as I want it to. Um, take this section, take, all, uh, take the arms and stick them, the smaller arms, stick them on the side, both of them. Uh... However, these won't attach to the side of anything, uh, but you will fold out these ports. And uh, I'm trying to move these as best as I can. There we go. All right. Uh, fold that down. Fold that down. Peg that. Peg that. And then we're just going to take this whole thing and just collapse it on top of Rexy. Push that in. Take the plesio head. Touch it there. If I can fucking get that in there. Alright. Okay, don't do that. Alright, and then attach this to the other side, the Pachazord. There we go. And then, um, before we stick in the head, you take this and you want to stick it into the peg right there. Now be careful because the original connection, because the thing that holds that tab is a little tiny little peg. In fact, it's sitting right here. This used to hold this black peg, this little tiny thing. And what it did, it broke off. So I had to super glue the whole damn thing. But uh, I mean, you can't really tell from looking at it on the outside, uh, but uh, yeah. So you want to take it, and I think it's best if I move the arm. Eh. Close your mouth, Rexy. You don't want to catch a fly. Um, and then you want to take it and shove it in there. But be careful because that that the way that was built was not really in, uh, well thought out by Bandai. So, yeah. But we take the tails, flip it around to the white side, and then spread open the face. You can't see that at all. I'm going to... Yeah, you cannot see that. There's his head, by the way. Um, there we have the Plesio Charge Megazord Packer Rex formation. Not the Dino Charge Megazord like Plesio Paca Formation or Paca Plesio Formation it is the Paca Rex Formation. Plesio Charge Megazord Paca Rex Formation. I guess it makes sense because Plesio is literally sitting on top of this thing. And uh, there's the face. It's not really 
as well painted as the Japanese version, but oh well. Big old feet. Pretty massive. Not as massive as the Japanese version, because that thing was like a clusterfuck of just everything. <laughs> um, posability. This is as follows. You do get the rotation. You can also have them fling out the little ball if you want. Uh, you can also move the arms back. You could also move the legs, but this thing is really unstable. You know, the back and forth motion, but it's kind of unstable and I don't feel like I should try to do that. And of course you could imitate the galactic blast attack, but there is no sounds, unfortunately. I really would have loved it if this thing had sounds. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, the Plesio Charge Megazord is a pretty cool Megazord. I only have like one Megazord left out of the main ones. I might get the Dark T-Rex, but uh, who knows. Uh, so yeah, I definitely say pick it up. It's not as good as the Japanese version, but it's a close substitute. So I will see you guys later. Take care. <laughs>